Welcome back everyone, Sean Stevens here again with Metroplex Mortgage Services and another Loan Pro video quick tip. In today's short video, we will break down details on a topic that we commonly receive questions on. But before we get started, if you have any questions or need help with a scenario, my team is here to help. Remember to just call, text, or email to discuss your scenario because we are known for returning calls, responding to messages, and replying to your emails. Now, wouldn't it be nice if everyone did that? In this educational series on FHA Manufactured Home Loan Qualifying, we will walk you through the FHA Manufactured Home Loan Guidelines, discuss minimum property requirements, and also review a recommended approach to secure an FHA Manufactured Home Loan. In today's short video, we will start by reviewing some basic FHA Manufactured Home Loan Guidelines, along with FHA Manufactured Home Minimum Property Requirements. Per HUD Handbook 4000.1, it provides the following definition for manufactured housing. Manufactured housing refers to structures that are transportable in one or more sections. They are designed to be used as a dwelling when connected to the required utilities, which include the plumbing, heating, air conditioning, and electrical systems contained therein. Manufactured housing is designed and constructed to the Federal Manufactured Home Construction and Safety Standards, as evidenced by an affixed HUD certification label. Manufactured housing may also be referred to as mobile housing, sectionals, multi-sectionals, double-wide, triple-wide, or single-wide. A manufactured home refers to a single dwelling unit of manufactured housing. Now that we have that established, FHA HUD Handbook 4000.1 additionally requires that a manufactured home meet the following. Be designed as a one-family dwelling. Have a floor area of not less than 400 square feet. Have the HUD certification label affixed or have obtained a letter of label verification issued on behalf of HUD, evidencing the house was constructed on or after June 15, 1976, in compliance with the Federal Manufactured Home Construction and Safety Standards. Also must be classified as real estate and be built and remain on a permanent chassis, as well as be designed to be used as a dwelling with a permanent foundation, built in accordance with the Permanent Foundations Guide for Manufactured Housing, and have been directly transported from the manufacturer or the dealership to the site. Please note that while FHA does not permit financing for manufactured homes that have been moved from their original site, VA loans will allow a manufactured home that has been previously moved. Now I realize today's post contained very technical information. So if you have any questions about FHA, VA, USDA, or conventional manufactured home loan guidelines, please let our dedicated team of loan experts be a resource for you. Whether you have a transaction trouble or are trying to maximize your qualifying ability, remember to just call, text, or email to discuss your scenario so we can show you the Metroplex difference. I want to thank everyone again for forwarding and sharing today's video with any family, friends, co-workers, or clients who are looking to buy, sell, or refinance. As always, I want everyone to make a great day. I look forward to seeing you right here for the next Tip of the Week.